Today we're having a gathering for my mother whose birthday is tomorrow. I am going to make vegan ice cream for all the omnivores. Let's see how it goes. Emily from Bite Size Vegan and welcome to another vegan nugget. Ubi is in the room for this because this is a more informal video but I have everything set up so I'm just doing it in front of the screen. I think it, it's gonna be interesting. I'm not an aficionado by any means. If you've seen the recipes on my channel, I think there's three. Two of them have two ingredients. One of them has an optional third ingredient. I am not the vegan corner. I will never, I will never reach that status. I'm, I think it's gonna be good. My filming of it and pictures of it are probably not gonna be terribly exciting. I'm not a gifted Instagram vegan food photo taker. I'm awful at that. But we're gonna see what the omnivores think of the vegan ice cream. And it's actually gonna be healthy vegan ice cream, which Ubi's given up, which sounds awful, but it's good. So I did a three course dessert for this since they're healthy after all, you might as well do three. As far as hardware, I used a Yonana's machine you can see there, but you can use a good blender like a Vitamix or a Blendtec or something else or even a Champion juicer and there are links to all of those in the video description and the blog post. The directions are written for a Yonana's machine, but for the blender simply add all of the ingredients and blend progressively faster slowly though you don't want to crank it fully because you want an ice cream consistency and not a smoothie so the first one that I made is vegan affogato and the ingredients were two frozen ripe bananas a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon a shot of espresso or coffee and optional chocolate sauce and I used co-ops micro creamery chocolate sauce which again is linked below and on the blog post I even have a picture of it because it's pretty cute so you insert the half of the frozen bananas and then the half teaspoon of ground cinnamon into the chute and then insert the remaining frozen bananas. And then you just stir it all up to combine in the bowl and you scoop it into little portions and then you can pour the shot of espresso over top and then I brought the fudge out so people could decide whether or not they wanted the chocolate sauce fudge on theirs. So here's what it looks like without the chocolate and then here is what it looks like with the chocolate topping. So the second one, and this ended up being the crowd favorite, is apple maple walnut. And it's the omni pick of the night. The ingredients, again, two frozen overripe bananas, uh, one cup of frozen apple slices, or cu I just cubed them. Um, you wanna do tangy like Fuji, Gala, Macintosh, or you can mix them up. And then you can do like a quarter cup of chopped or whole walnuts and some maple syrup. So what I did was I always you want to slightly thaw the fruit first and then I poured my walnuts into the bowl and I put maple syrup over them and I stirred to kind of coat them with the maple syrup. And then you're going to insert half of your frozen bananas into the, yo the yonanas or again blender just blend it and then I inserted a couple of the maple glazed walnuts and then I inserted some of the apple and then again I did more walnuts and then banana and then apple. You just don't want to put the the nuts in first or last because you need something to kind of push them through and it might be better for the Unanas machine if you kind of cut them up a little bit first. I also had some of the just plain walnuts set aside as topping so I mixed that all up in the bowl doled out the portions and then I topped it with walnuts and I brought the maple syrup to the table if anyone wanted to add more to their serving. Then for the chocolate coconut, which was the third course, again two frozen ripe bananas and there are recipes you can do without bananas but I had so many bananas it just felt like this was the thing to do. So two frozen ripe bananas and two ounces of dark chocolate. Always check the ingredients on the dark chocolate. Usually the higher the cacao percent percentage, it's usually more likely it's gonna be vegan. And then a quarter cup of shredded coconut or more. So what I did is you insert one of the frozen bananas or I had like banana chips, so just kind of feel it out. And then I added a little bit of coconut and then the two ounces of the dark chocolate, I kind of actually divided that a little bit and then put in more banana and then a little chocolate and then more banana. 
So you can kind of stagger it as much as you want and then stir it all up in the bowl to combine it and then sprinkle coconut on top of the ice cream. So we only got one picture of this. My mom's friend was taking the pictures because I am awful at photography. A lot of the vegans that are on Instagram could totally rock out the photography of this and make anything look appetizing, but trust me, these were good, they just might not look fantastic. So, the omnivores seemed to really enjoy the triple course. Most of them did not want to be on YouTube, and my mother and uh, her friend Cassandra somewhat begrudgingly gave a little bit of a review, so let's hear from them. What did you guys think of the, the ice cream? I liked the apple one, the apple pecan. I thought the apple gave it a nice tartness. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a more complex flavor than just the banana. What do you think, Mom? I like them all, but I think the apple was my favorite, and this is my second. Is so it coconut? Yeah. And I can always put coconut on all of them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed the vegan ice cream for omnivores. It's really tasty, it's healthy. Something that I have been eating as a post-workout snack actually lately is some banana ice cream. I kind of like mine more simple, I just do the banana ice cream, but you can do this with any frozen fruit. You can throw dates in there, you can really spice it up however you want and get creative. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's actually probably the most complex recipes I've ever done on my channel. Ubi actually got to eat some of the plain banana ice cream. It's one of her favorite treats. She loves bananas. This dog will beg for bananas, beg for apples. She will sleep through a freight train, but if you peel a banana, even on the other side of the house, it will wake her up and she will come running. So it's doggy safe as long as you just do you know, the bananas or the fruits, you don't want to be giving your dog chocolate, obviously, or grapes or raisins, and some nuts can be an issue, so. I'd love to hear what you think of these recipes. If you try them, let me know if you like them or not. If you have different and more exciting recipes, which I'm sure that you do, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it around to inspire others to make tasty vegan goodness for omnivores. If you're new here, do hit that big red subscribe button down there for more awesome vegan content every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays. And you can check out my other rather limited recipe selection on the side over there. Though I do have some recipe playlists that I did collaborations with other channels who are far more gifted than I in the kitchen and you can find those also in the video description below. Now go live vegan, chow down on some vegan ice cream, and I'll see you soon. Can you sit? Oh. Did you eat it all? Is it good? Yeah. You got it on your face.